Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm not going to ask you a question now, right? And I want you to be completely honest with me, right? No, no. no. Are you a bit homophobic? No. I actually can't deal with this anymore. I'm in the same boat as you, but just on the other end. I know, like, you and Amy like each other stuff. I've, ba I've barely seen Amy. Yeah, Sav and Chris were in the room together last night. Marbella to Ibiza. We've all arrived in a uh, sunny Ibiza. Cool guys, so this is Shaq. Hi everyone. Hi. Obviously you guys know his story how he couldn't come out with me and Renel in the first couple of weeks because of his visa issue. He told us he actually weren't coming back out to Spain, but obviously he's here now. Yeah, I had to I keep just... it on the down low, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. my god. So you just got Welcome to the family. Chris, was you crying? I, almost, I had tears in my Mate, eyes. I see god tears. knows I had tears I in my eyes. He's honestly like. How much do you spend together? Every like, day. Every day I'm so buzzing for you, honest. I am so, mm. so buzzing for you. I can't day. wait to see you guys together, like your actions. Right. We're like it's gonna go <laughs> off. The, the movements. <laughs> Chad, we have a question for you from the table. Are you single? Yes, I am. Look at it. Oh, Look Rush, at the stop. They're really starting. Rush, you're going red. No, I don't go <laughs> red. <laughs> You're saying, what are you telling me? What's been happening? And everyone getting along? The reality is, when we first started, everyone gets along in it. Mm. Two weeks in, people's personality comes out, and all of that things, sort of stuff. arguments starts happening, tension starts happening. So obviously, there's been a bit of tension recently. You're here now, so like, it's just, it's just gonna be mm. sick now. Like, mm. the three amigos. So now you're in Ibiza. What are you trying to tell me? Oh boy. Do you trying to tell me what, oh, what, what happens in Ibiza? Stays in Ibiza. You get me? That's how you feeling? Yeah, That's man. How you feeling now? Yeah. yeah. Every night we've been out, me and Renault's patterned external things. Every single day, every single night we've gone out. Clean sheet, yeah? Clean sheet all the time. Cool. But me and Sav was getting close. Yeah. But it's like, we don't really spend that much time together, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, sometimes like, here and there, obviously, we'll sleep around each other's rooms here and there, innit? But yeah. it's not really, it's not as much it's it's happening. Not major, it's not, not major, major. Steps, yeah, yeah, it's not really major. Mm. Um, but I do like her, though. Yeah. A little bit. What do you think about your first pressure on the girls in the villa, anyways, at the moment? Oh. Like, who caught your eye at the moment? It's just from off the cuff. Hi, you right? You all right? How you doing? What are you talking about? You came at the most awkward question, because I just asked him a question. <laughs> you walked in at the question, I'm like, oh my god. I now you're going to think that's all we've been talking about. And it genuinely wasn't. Was so I much. just asked him now, yeah. Oh, so that's just from coming question. in, who's, like, who's caught his eye? Like, as soon as he come in, who's yeah. caught his eye? I think, Sav, you caught my eye first. Me? Yeah. No way. Yeah. The girl in the black, I can't remember any. Izzy. Izzy? It's Izzy. Yeah. Okay. And... Rush. Rush? What I want to do is just like get to mingle with everyone, get to know everyone, yeah. and just have a lot of fun, really. It's been really fun so far. Yeah, it? it's been so fun. Tonight's been mad. Yeah, I can't believe Shaq came here. Actually arrived. I don't really know how things are going to work out with Chris now. Like, we do spend a lot of time with each other, away from yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. But there's still that thing where, like, we are both single. But obviously, like, there's a whole bed situation again now with Shaq needing somewhere to sleep. Either Chris shares with me, or we move my bed out of the room and, and Shaq has what it. What would you prefer? Truthfully, what <laughs> would you prefer? I wouldn't mind if Chris oh! shares my room. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Day, um, Renelle unfollowed me on Instagram. 
Um, so I asked him why, and he said that one of the pictures I put, I went back of a boat in my boxes. He said that it made him feel uncomfortable and he didn't like seeing stuff like that on his newsfeed and stuff like that. You followed him, mate. You followed him, mate. We know what Paul and Lewis because yeah. he felt uncomfortable about it. Yeah, yeah, I feel uncomfortable about it. I'm sure, but I'm going to ask you a question now, right? And I want you to be completely honest with me, right? No, I don't. No? Are you a bit homophobic? No, I have been before in the past. Yeah. Because of where I grew up. Right, yeah. And because of how I grew up. Yeah. I was. I'm not going to lie to you, I was. But I've come out of it. If I'm brutally honest, I find it narrow minded. I agree. It yeah. is narrow minded. That's just the way that I'm feeling and thinking. I yeah. feel like being here, though, will like, help you sort of come out of that, like. Yes. Background of sort yeah, of yeah, being like what you've been brought up in now. I've, I've learned how to be open-minded yeah. about the situation, which is why I'm comfortable around you. I'm comfortable speaking to you, bantering with you. I'm comfortable being around you. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I can't change the way I've grown up. Yeah. Around. And no. I can't change. I can't change what I'm uncomfortable about seeing. Do you, you feel mean? awkward around me in that when I'm like? No, no, no. I don't feel awkward around you. Not anymore. But yeah, it took me a while to get that. It actually took me a while to get that. Like I love you, like he's a great guy. He's yeah. funny, Mom. but. It's when I see things like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah, makes yeah. you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna act like it doesn't. No, yeah, and I get that. I get that. I do get that. It just makes me feel a bit of shit like knowing that I've got to live with someone for the next couple of weeks that don't fully accept me. Other gay people won't necessarily be as calm about it as God, I am. God no. Do you know what I mean? Not at all. It has hurt me a little bit. From him voicing it, he would have realised that actually... He's the minority the, view. Yeah, he's the minority. I think he'll grow from it a lot. I'm sure he'll be fine. How was last night? Um, it was OK. We just had some issues with... Um, Sam and this person that he was involved with before he came to Ibiza. Yeah, she happened to be out at the same club. At first, Sam was apprehensive about going, which is understandable, like, given the circumstances, the situation, etc. And, yeah, like, so. we sort of talked him round it, and he was like, yeah, OK, but I want to go in first. He was like, wait round the corner. So we were all waiting round the corner, just like... <laughs> and um, then we all just thought, you know what, we'll just go in, like... It's been a while, like, we, we're not going to be out here dictating our whole night. Yeah. Because of Sam and some girl that he was with. So we went in, and long story short, Sam got very, very annoyed that we'd come into the club, yeah. like, before he was ready. First night in Ibiza, we were all absolutely buzzing to get out. But he spoke to me like pure shit out on the street. Literally just went in on me. Like, it was just like, you're all disrespectful as fuck. I really didn't like how you've all just done this to me. The night just being revolved around them again. Do you know what I mean? Just fucking selfish. And annoying. Yeah, it is, to be fair. I don't know, I feel like atmosphere here today is just a bit like... It's dog shit. What? Well, the problem was, in my point of view, was the fact that I asked you guys to do one favour for me. Yeah, which was not even, it could have been 10 minutes. Could have been 10 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. But just for me to go in there and just make sure the situation is calmed down yeah. before you guys storm in. Yeah. Instead, I get in and literally within one minute. It wasn't one minute. We, 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 was and a, we at least waited like five, it six minutes minute. and then we went in. No, no. Because we were outside no, for time. No, no, you weren't. Right? I don't need people jumping on on drama, which is me, which is about me. If Amy wants to, you know, chill with me, let her do it. Don't get beef at her. She's my best you friend. Know I'm right. no, you no. know I'm right. She's you know I'm right, and, and you should have left. You should have left me. She's meant to be my best friend, and I've 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 spent barely any time with her because she's been with you. You literally live in the same building. She shares a room with me. Yeah. yeah. And big deal. You so it's so ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It is. You don't it's understand so because you don't have a friend that you've lost. Oh what? Mate, I actually can't deal with this anymore. I don't get what everyone's fucking beef is, mate. I, 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 I mate, don't what's going on? It's like they're all fucking... They're just... Oh, man, I just can't, mate. I'm fucking done with this shit, man. I'm going to stop playing friendly. We're on our way to our life-changing yoga experience, because apparently this is meant to be so life-changing 
that your life will get changed in ways you didn't think it could be changed. This yoga is for like release and relaxing and with the whole Sam situation, um, I think I'm just going to keep my distance from him for a while just because I didn't appreciate the way he spoke to me. Welcome to Ibiza. <laughs> the other side. Open up the energy in your heart, releasing all of the tension into the earth. Oh. Oh. I mean, Sam, we don't spend every second together, but at the minute I feel like I have to do that because I've got no one else in the villa to talk to. I feel awkward and I don't even want to be around the people that I came here with at all. I know you said you, you don't think you're spending a lot of time with him, but from like me and Izzy, what well, yeah. for me, I, I feel like you are. Like I've met someone, I'm, like, I'm happy to get like getting to know them. I feel in a really nice position, and then I feel like you said literally just blocked me out. For me, like the whole like touchy and like it is yeah. a lot sometimes to like to see. But I'd rather like, you've I, just said that I days know. ago than leave me out and make me feel like shit for days. And you could have just said to me, Amy, I feel really awkward about this, and we would have cleared but, it but straight away. Say, that's what I'm trying to say. Like I didn't feel comfortable to even say that to you. Right. I went and sat in my room on my own and cried because no one let me speak to them because not one person ever thought that I was sitting in that room alone. And I'd, I want to change that, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want this... Do you want this to carry on, like, no. at all? Is that clear? Like, and I need to... We need to sit down and have this conversation with Izzy as well so she can tell me what's going on. Yeah. Because, in my, own, in my honest opinion, she's leading you away from me. Not in a horrible way, but every time it's, oh, Rush, come do this with me and do that with me. Like, I don't even think you realise it. So how do, you, like, how do you want to move forward from this? Like, once you've had your time, like, what, what are you going to do? Um, I don't know. If, obviously, like, because I didn't realise I was leaving you out and that, I tried to, like, not, obviously. <laughs> but, um, I was going to not leave you out in things that, like, we're going to do. Yeah. But like, don't get me wrong, I want to come have a girl's day at Ocean. Like, I want to do all of that. But I just want to be able to do that. Yeah. Don't cry, man. I'm not crying, you know, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, I don't cry. Anymore. Yeah, there's on tonight, you know. Have some John. What's John then? Where'd you put your dumb, good dummies? Dummies. You see, you leave some here and put like a couple in your wallet, man. You're gonna put one in your wallet? Yeah, bro. Just imagine. Where'd you get that from? Imagine you don't get home. Well, you're saying you're all of us out there, isn't it? I want some, I want some all over. Right? But, but it's good, doing? though. Let's, let's see what happens, bro. Let's just let's get out in the field and let's see what happens. So the rest of the guys have ended up going to uh, one club but we've decided that we're going to go to a different club uh, tonight, um, which I'll find out when we don't turn up. I mean, I'm so glad that we're here, yeah, finally. Cool. It's just sad that like Sam, Amy and Luke are not here yet. Call All right, Amy. I'll call Amy. Give Amy a call and see where she is. Hello. Amy. Amy. Good. I'll call Luke. I'll call Sam. You can call Sam. Hi, yeah. Amy. Don't worry, you don't have to talk to him. I'll go over here. Hi, Luke. Um, darling, where are you? Oh. Brilliant. And no one let us know that you weren't coming. What the hell? OK, bye. Okay, that's... Bye. That's... Have a good night. All right, that's fine. I'll see you later. That was rude. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, let's go have a good time. I'm having a good night, but you, do, do you see? Do you know what I mean now? Do you see? Snaky movement. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Fuck them, I'm going. <laughs> That annoys me is that obviously like me and Amy have that conversation today. She, she was, and like, she about, she was on the verge of crying. So obviously I was like, damn, like she must be really, like really upset that she's like missing us and whatever. But then tonight she's gone to a different place with Sam. 
and not us. And not us? Yeah, I just feel like it's not going to end well. No. Because everyone's already heated about it. And I'm not going to make her issue affect my time here. Like, absolutely not. This ain't the Sam and Amy show, so... Well, last night was actually just tragic. It was awful. Our mood was dampened anyway because of Amy's situation. But yeah. She didn't even drop us a, a text saying, oh, I'll just let you know I'm not coming. It's, it's just like, like, don't come at me for stuff that we've done. And then you go and do things like that. Yeah, I'm it was just like, it doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, we've got a lot coming up, so we've just got to enjoy it and, you know, make the most of our time here back at IB for, do you know what I mean? Mm. Obviously, we've been doing quite a lot of partying here in Ibiza, and I just kind of thought that it would be quite nice to actually experience some more of like the other side of the island. We're going to go on a hike and see wildlife, and we're going to stay over, camp out in hammocks. You're having a joke. <laughs> you think I'm camping out Come on, it'll be so good. Come on, don't be boring. You have five minutes to think about it. Five minutes? Well, uh, I'm over you. Aiden. I'm here to invite you on our hike. Oh, that's nice. Second, 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 second <laughs> best. Oh, no, second I'd best. rather you come and be happy about it than this grumpy git. I'll come. Thanks, Aiden. I'll only come if Aiden comes. Yeah, well, Aiden's just said he's coming. Morning. How up for new things are you feeling today? Right, why, what? I am proposing that instead of going to the Ibiza Rocks pool party, you, me, and Luke go on a hike and camp out overnight under the stars in a hammock with a guide. Are you excited, Aid? It's gonna be gonna be a hell of an experience, this. I think uh, Luke's probably the most excited. He's just buzzing with joy and excitement. The others today have gone to the bar and they're probably all smashed. I just felt it was a bit awkward earlier because Izzy had a tally chart of how many times people had cracked on with other people. Mine was once, which was with you, and then yours was like at seven people, that was a bit of a kick in the teeth. But all seven, six were before you. But I feel like whatever I say now, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe me anyway. People were like, oh, he's a player, don't go near him. So I was like, mm, okay, I'll make my own decision. So you've got to make up your own mind, really, innit? But I, I don't care, like, I, there's no pressure here. I know there's no, like, pressure, but I do feel like we've been getting, like, quite a lot closer, and I feel like, well, if you're going to continue to be like that... Yeah. ..then it's going to be very awkward. Obviously, we see things from two different point of view. What's your point of view? Usually, like, when someone's like, OK, I think, oh, I like that person, they don't automatically go, OK, I'm exclusive now. No, I don't think it's that, so like, exclusivity thing, point of view. I think it's that more, like, respect and morals point of view. I just don't want to be disrespected. Now, I get what you're saying. It's like, the caution of, like, like you've got that, I'm like, oh, OK, like... Do whatever you feel you want to do. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Whatever I happens, feel like it's happens. Going, I feel like it's all going in the right direction. Yeah. As long as, as, long as like, you behave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, um, and, then, and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Stop stressing, please. I'm not stressing. Hey. 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 Hello. Hello. I'm going to take you on the most astounding, beautiful walk today to try and show you something else of Ibiza. We're actually taking the path that goes up here, goes right round the back of where we are, above high, above these rocks, and we've got about a three-hour walk ahead of us. Jesus, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> 
so we're now off on our walk, starting the incline. I think, I think we're all good. Is everyone good? I'm good. So to give you a little breather, especially Aidan, who looks like he's about to die, <coughs> please, please don't die on me. So there's there's so many plants all over the island, but this is one plant that you might actually need on this walk. Any ideas what you could do with it? You're like an anaesthetic. No, and, and it's, yeah, actually, they do dock use leaf it. Dock leaf. It's like a dock leaf, but you're much more important than a dock leaf. For mozzie bites. What are you, you going to want to do during the next three cool hours? Down. Not cool Rehydrate. down. Rehydrate? Nope. After you drink, what are you going to want to do? Pee. 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 Stops so it stops peeing. you from peeing? Direct toilet paper. It's toilet paper? Yeah. You're so serious? You, yeah. So you take as much of it as you want, and when you next go to the toilet, use this to wipe yourself, please. Look at the view, though. You all right? My calf muscles aren't built for the incline. It's all right, you're doing well. Are you glad you came? I feel good for it. Yeah, same. I feel happy that we're doing something other than just getting pissed. Yeah, it's a nice, mm. like, break. Do you reckon Lou could hack this? Lou? Yeah. What do you think? Hey, Lou, bro, you right? Just wanted to talk to you, obviously, about what happened the other day. But obviously, we haven't spoke properly since then. How are you feeling, like, since then, bro? Like, you know, like, a bit weird around you, do you know what I mean? It's just hard to live with you knowing that you feel that way about me, because I can't change what I am, do you know what 100%. I mean? 100%. You're a great guy. Honestly, if I didn't even think you were a great guy, I mean, you wouldn't even be having this conversation, honestly. But the way I've grown up, it's, it's been rough in terms, of, in terms of accepting things like that, do you know what I mean? And I, I don't hold anything against you. I don't judge you whatsoever. But it's like seeing things like that or like on Instagram, I can't take to it straight away because of the way I've grown up. And the way it's been perceived to me as in that's wrong. Now I don't believe it's wrong. I just believe it's you. Like, it's just you doing you. That's completely fine. I don't have a problem with that. It just feels weird to me because obviously I've got to live with you knowing that you feel that way. Do you get me? I get you. Imagine this, bro. Imagine this. Honestly, like... I've actually never been, let alone, I've never been in like a room with an open gay person. What, never in your life? Never in my life have I been in a room with an open gay person, ever. You know how Jamaican, you know how Jamaican culture is? Do you know how Jamaican culture is? I grew up on music that used to speak about being gay in a bad way. I grew up in Africa as well. I used to live in Africa where they'll do bad things to gay people. Do you know what I mean? That's what I grew up around. I, I, I can't help that, do you know what I mean? That's what I've just grown up around. That's, the, that's what I've been exposed to. And that's how, that's all I knew until, the, until now. Make sense? That's it though, man. Other than that, bro, I don't have a problem with you. No, I understand that. It's just hard for me to, you know, like deal with that and like feel comfortable with it, do you know what I mean? Mm. But I've got to live with that for like another two weeks, do you know what I mean? Mm. If same thing happened in like a club at home, I'd be able to just go home. I'll just walk away, do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm on, I'm on this journey to learn and to get comfortable with, with things, get comfortable with life. I'm open-minded, man. Honestly. Honestly. I feel like you're not, though, a little bit. Oh, Why? she even followed me. You're right. You're right. You're completely right. I am not 100% there. But it's something that I'm working on. It's, I, f I feel like I will still feel awkward, though, just... I'm not used to it. So I feel awkward around it, too. I try, though. I, honestly, I swear to God, I actually do try. But I feel, I feel awkward too. You know what I mean? I feel awkward too. I'm in the same boat as you, but just on the other end. We're both on the same boat on other ends. Yeah. But it's something I'm willing to work on. And if you're willing to work on it with me, let's do it. Why, what have I got to work on? What have I got to work on? Not giving a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I know. I actually don't. Mm. It's just like just weird living in it, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I'm not you I've never done that before. Mm. I just feel uncomfortable and then when like I'll walk by your bedroom and see you and I think, oh, do you know what I mean? Like mm. I just feel weird. Mm. I, like if I walked in your bedroom and you had your boxes on, I'd feel like, oh I've got gotta leave, do you know what I mean? Think fancy him. Mm. Honestly that is how I would feel. Mm. I wouldn't have before, but knowing our knowing the situation now, that is that is how I'd feel now. Mm. 
I mean, look, bro, like, I can't help it. I'm on oh, a, no, you can't, no, you can't. I can't, I can't help it. I'm on a, I'm on a act on the way I'm feeling, you know what I mean? That's how I've always been. So imagine I was feeling like this, but I didn't tell you the whole time. I don't think I'd have preferred that. Do you reckon? Cos I didn't, I didn't even think it was like still a thing, do you know what I mean? Like it's, I just feel like it's 2018, do you know what I mean? Like it's all on the telly now, TV's I mean, got loads of gay people on it. Mm-hmm. But it's and like... You, you live in London and that, there's millions of gay people in London, isn't there? Alright, but I live in London, but you need to understand, I live in a different part of London. So like, if anyone around me was to come out and be gay, they'll get slaughtered. It's accepted in our day and age. But the people around, the people I've, I've, been, I've been associated with or I'm around, or people that I know, that's how they know and that's how they think. Do you know what I mean? I just feel sad that, because that's like a proper old-fashioned way to be, isn't it? It is. It's like old people being stuck in their ways. It's like when you're, when you're one way, one way, one way, when something else happens, you're like, I don't have a problem with you at all. At yeah. all. I don't feel awkward around you at all. But it's like, when I see things like that on my Instagram, it's like, oh, I'm not ready for this. And that's it. And it is what it is, isn't it? Like, if you're working on it, that's a good thing, isn't it? So hopefully, like, the next gay person you meet, you'll be completely different, do you know what I mean? Might be like a learning thing. That's what it is, man. Just gotta learn, that's what it is. That's what it is. Oh my god. Oh. I tell you what, I'll admit, this was worth it. It was worth yeah. it. We told you. We've got an achievement. Luke? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It is. I like I always knew that like I love partying, but I love being outdoors and stuff, and just it's just moments like this when you just realise that like bit, there's a like, lot more yeah. to places and a lot more about things than just getting drunk. This definitely makes me 100% want to go travelling even more. I want to move and if I were to move I'd, I'd, I'd want to 100% move abroad. Mm. I think this has definitely made me want to travel more. But Do you think? Because before you were like you couldn't uh, wait to get home. No, I still can't wait to get home but I probably could you know, a week week or two at a time, go yeah. go and see a bit of the world. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm on such a buzz right now. Like this is probably one of the like highest points like during this trip. <laughs> How are you doing? You're up. Right. What's your name? Sarah. Are you waiting for your friends? Yeah. Mm, yeah, all right. Where are you from? Where is it? How long are you here for? Well, what's your Instagram? Let me grab your Instagram. Camp is very close and I just did some wildlife. <laughs> Come on, team. So, don't pull me down. Go, 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 go! She's in a hammock. Yeah, I'm sure I got a hammock. Exactly. Hey. Oh, Aiden's gone. Aiden's gone. Slow and steady wins the what? Home oh, sweet home for the night. Oh, my God. Wow. Lamb on Tanya. This is amazing. Isn't it Cosmo? How amazing does this look? This is spot on, this, isn't it? Imagine. Look at, that, and and you. look at the stars. Look what the stars are oh, going to be can like. Just, you can just wake up and woof. Yeah. God, I'm excited. I'm so, so glad I've done this, man. You can just see the stars. It's, it is incredible, to be fair. Um, I'm not really one to being at one with nature, but, you know, I'm, I'm here in a forest on a hammock. It doesn't get more naturist than this, I think. So we're going to go to sleep watching the stars. We can see the Milky Way from here, which is just mad. And then we've got an early start in the morning for sunrise. So I'm excited. Morning. Time to get up. Morning. Anyone home? You found there. Had to wake up early to go watch the sunrise. So we are here. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel okay. 400 metres up, 399. 400. Is that a shooting star? 
played, mate. It's played. <laughs> I've seen the sun! There it is. It's quarter past seven in the morning, so we are up so early. It was all a bit tired, I think Aidan still is. But we have just seen the sunrise. Look how amazing that looks. And while we've woke up and watched the sunrise, everybody is just leaving the nightclubs, pissed, hungover, feeling like death. Yeah, looking forward to the day. We've got an hour and a half walk this morning. Yeah, I think for me, something like this is just what I needed. Mm. You know, instead of just like the drinking constant and that. Yeah. Like to have a just night off and just like be away from it. When like we finally reached like this point, I don't know, it just sort of sunk in a bit more that it's all well and good like having a drink and that. And like for me, that is like quite a big part of like at home mm. and like even out here. But I don't know, it just sort of made it sink in a bit more that I want to see the world. Mm. You party a lot at home and that. Like, why do you think that is? A, a, bit, a bit of everything for me. Like, my job is quite tough. Like, I work, like, loads of hours. But, yeah, I think it's just a, the, the place where I live, it's that sort of scene where everyone goes out every weekend. Mm -hmm. so I think you sort of get stuck in that rut where you feel like that's what you should be doing because that's what everyone's doing. When really... When you sit and you, like, think about it, there's a lot more that I would like to do. Except when I get home, like, I really do want to go travelling. Like, really bad. Just spotted the truck. So that means we have finally finished. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers, Who was having a tea? Me. Just, just me and you. Hey! Here are we! Woo! We survived! Yeah, hey! <laughs> I wiped my arse with leaves, so I dropped my pistol. What, a bit like proper camping? Yeah. We went to the top of the mountain. Hey, were you climbing? No, no, no quite not quite. Really. The view was unreal. Yeah, it was yeah. weird being there yesterday without all y'all there. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So why won't check them? Yeah, it was really good. It was it was tough. It was hard, but. I preferred to do that than I would have to gone to a beef rocks yesterday. Really? Yeah. When I got to Totten, when I was sat down, especially around camp, like at night, when we were just like having chats and that, yeah. I was sat there, I'd gone to like camp bed and I would just literally just laid on camp bed, just looking up, the sky was just full of stars, like it looked dead pretty. And I would just lay thinking that, for me, like during this trip now, I feel like in myself, like I've come like a lot further in myself. So glad I did it, so glad. That's good then, mate. So this trip now, like, we're halfway in just over and I think I'm more now realising I want to do a lot more than just yeah. having a drink. No, it's nice to hear that, because it's like... It's not just all about, like, partying and getting pissed, is it? Being out here has definitely made me realise how much I want to travel next yeah, year. Yeah, me. I know that I want to go off and just see everywhere I possibly can in the world. I feel like I know a woman. <laughs> Maybe not that far, but... <laughs> <laughs> Are you drinking today? No. Hello. No. You're not? No. I feel like with this view and that, I don't need to be pissed. No. Like, I can have it's a good time. It's more of a, you sit down and appreciate where you are, yeah. sort of thing, a place like this. Can I have you? a good time without being pissed today? I had a chat with Renel. Did you? Yeah. I probably didn't want to do it, like, I was feeling shit about it. Well, I, uh, yeah. But I well, knew I had to do it, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew it was the best thing to do. I'm proper glad I did it, though. Just explained like how he'd been raised, like where he's from. Oh, he was, like, I've never been in a room with a gay lad before. It's 2018, do you know what I mean? Like, well, like, were he like all right with you? Like, while you were chatting? Yeah, yeah, it was sound, yeah. Do you feel like now you, 
you're comfortable and you'll sit there and yeah. have a chat and that. Like last night when we got in, me and Rashida sat on the balcony for like 40 minutes just chatting shy. And I thought to myself, like, that's sound because if we'd have not had that chat, we wouldn't have been doing that. Yeah, you'd like, have probably avoided that. Avoided one, yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I said to myself, I was like, hopefully, oh, like, the next gay person will, that you come yeah. across, you'll think in a different way to how you did with me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like me and Renal are in like a good place again. There's no tension now with anyone for me, so I feel like I can just no. have a good time with everyone. I feel, yeah, I feel like I feel like groups in a good place. So yeah, I feel like in terms of like group dynamic, I feel like everyone sorted the shit. Yeah, I'm glad because I can't deal with drama. No, me, I can't, I can't be asked with it. How are things with Amy yesterday? Obviously, we had the conversation um, a couple of days back. And she was just like, um, she felt that we were leaving her out. And I felt that that wasn't it, that we were leaving her out. I was like, it was the other way around. Like, you wasn't coming to us. We literally said to her, like, Amy, we want to share a room with you. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. And, and then we got to the villa and then and she then, showed us her and was like, hey. I don't know, like, hi, uh, you all right? Hey, hey good. Done there. Just chatting back. No, we were just chatting about um, like the talk you and Rash had the other day and yeah. like how when I got back today and we all had like a girly chat, like it was so nice just yeah. to be like the three of us just so having a chat. It felt like old times, so I mean. Yeah. It was so much nicer now that like, I just feel a bit more involved. Like obviously yeah. I was saying to Rash the other day, like I just felt so excluded that I didn't even want to be there. Yeah. Like literally I'd be like trying to like chat to you so then you'd like completely ignore me. And I just felt like so left out. But now I feel so much more comfortable and like, I feel completely back to normal. And we just need to remember that, like, our friendship started before we came on this yeah, trip yeah, exactly. together. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've made close friends with other people, but at the end of the day, like, we came here together. Yeah. Our yeah. bond with each other is always going to be stronger than the people. Yeah. We just need to, like, remember that. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't come here expecting to meet someone at all. I'm surprised, but I'm like, Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, same. You know, I'm happy I've met a girl, happened. which you know, yeah. we're on like the same, we're on exactly the same page in loads of things that we do. Mm. You progress so much faster in like something like this when you're like living with each other. Yeah. Because like, I feel like we're in a better position than what I'd be in a position if I was like seeing a girl back at home. We're getting to the end of the journey now, and it's yeah. becomes a point where we actually have to kind of decide what. We want to do it. Yeah. So, like, you know, we do live quite far apart from each other and stuff. So yeah, only four hours. Only four hours. Sometimes you've got to make a sacrifice in order to do something else that you want to do. Yeah. It's the early days, obviously, but if yeah. things did progress or something like that, then I would look at, you know, maybe like getting a job down in London or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, obviously, if but things obviously, go that way, yeah, then if they things do. go that way, things go that way. Mad. Mm. Five o'clock, I think it was. Chris was sitting, cuddled up to another girl. I'm not in a relationship with her, so I've got nothing to justify. You can't be telling me you've got like feelings for me or whatever, or that you like me or whatever, and then go and do that a few hours later. It doesn't work like that. But I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs>